I'm Big Lou, and this is Big Lou Barbecue, and other things I want to do, and I want to thank you for watching, doing another Jambalaya video, and you're going, Jambalaya again, Big Lou? Don't you have enough? Yeah, I got three, but the first two I did in the first year I was on YouTube, and the last one I did, a Creole Jambalaya, I did more than a year ago. We're going to make a Cajun Jambalaya today, all right? And we're gonna put some tasso in it, some homemade tasso that I made. I'll tell you more about tasso in just a minute. You see, uh, this being on YouTube for the last three years, I've really come to realize just how regional a lot of American cooking is. Stuff I grew up with that was comfort food, gumbo, jambalaya, stuff like that. I realized a lot of people think that's kind of exotic. And a lot of things that other people think are comfort, comfort food I've never heard of or things exotic, like clam chowder. That's kind of fancy if I get that, you know, because I'm not from up there. And I never heard the New Brunswick stew before, but I've heard of that since I've been on YouTube. So, you know, there's a lot of different kinds of cooking and stuff that um, people look at. So if you're not familiar with jambalaya, let me tell you real quick about it, okay? Uh, basically, there's two types. There's red jambalaya and brown jambalaya, also called Creole jambalaya and Cajun jambalaya. Creole is got tomatoes in it. That's why it's called red jambalaya. Cajun jambalaya does not have tomatoes in it. It's brown. That's why they call it brown jambalaya. You use white rice. You use white rice, but the onions and all make the jambalaya brown. A good jambalaya should have a brownish tint to it and a reddish tint if it's Creole jambalaya. Well, what's the difference in uh, Creole and Cajun? Just kind of think of it this way. Creole is sort of city cooking. It's New Orleans. It's Got all the influences from the French and the Spanish and the Americans that came in and the Africans and the, um, it's a port city, gets a lot of different cultures. So Creole is a combination, it's city cooking, it's got a lot of different um, things in there from all kinds of cultures. Cajun cooking is primarily from the Cajuns and the Cajun French there, but it's country cooking and it's making do with what you got and stuff like that. Anyway, east side of the state, Creole jambalaya is quite popular. Uh, central and western side of the state, um, Cajun jambalaya is more popular, but they're both popular wherever you go. And I grew up with both, either Creole or Cajun. So we're gonna make a Cajun jambalaya. Now, one of the things I've also found out on YouTube about regional differences is I find out people in other parts of the country always think that jambalaya is seafood jambalaya. Well, there is seafood jambalaya, but probably most jambalaya is probably chicken and sausage. So we're going to be making chicken and sausage jambalaya today. And uh, I haven't even made a chicken and sausage jambalaya on my show. I've got a smoked turkey one. I've got one using rib, couple using rib tips actually, and I got that Creole jambalaya, which is one of the ones that uses rib tips. But we're gonna be making, uh, using tasso. Now, if you're not from Louisiana, you may not know what tasso is, all right? Tasso is a spicy smoked meat. You basically take pork butt and you make it so smoky, so spicy, so, and a little bit sweet, okay? And so savory that it's unpalatable, but when you cut it up and you put it in a jambalaya or a pot of beans or a pot of red beans or a pot of greens or something like that, man, oh, it's tasso good. Anyway, I made this tasso a few weeks ago. Here's a couple of pictures of it. After three days of curing in the ice box, it looked like that when I put it on the smoker and looked like this when I took it off. All right, let me show you the ingredients. We'll get to cut the tasso up, making the jambalaya. Thanks for watching Big Lou Barbecue. All right, let's talk about the main ingredients. Of course, we gotta have rice. I'm not gonna show you the rice, but we gotta have rice, white rice, okay? And you gotta have uh, some seasonings and stuff. I'll tell you more about that. But as for the meat, I've got the tasso that I made, all right? I've got some uh, Beasley Smokehouse sausage, just a pork and venison mix. So I've got a little bit of deer meat going in it. And I've got some chicken thighs that I'm gonna uh, cut all up, all right? And then we've got the um, Cajun Trinity over here. For the Cajun Trinity, your proportions should be one medium-sized onion, one medium-sized bell pepper, two ribs of celery. Well, I've got a rather large bell pepper and half of another one, so I'm using two small onions because I don't have a medium-sized onion today. I'm using three ribs of celery. And you want some garlic, okay? And uh, this small head will be enough. If you got like one of those big large heads of garlic, maybe five or six cloves from it will be fine. And I've got some uh, smoked pork stock that's gonna go into it. Uh, this is the last that I have, so I've got about a quart and a cup 
of smoked pork stock left. I may have to uh, substitute some water to go in there if we need more. All right. I'm not going to show you me chopping all this up through my food processor with my uh, big blue barbecue uh, knife here and this nice uh, cutting board. I'll have information down below where you can find each of them. But I will show you me slicing up the tasso because that's probably what you're most interested in. All right, let's take a look at this tasso that I made. Just open it up. It smells delicious. And um, all I used was um, pork butt meat, country style ribs. And uh, you can freeze it well and keep it. I made this about a week ago. It's a semi-cured meat. That's what it looks like on the inside. So you get that um, red color to it. And uh, here's that one. Because it is semi-cured. Like that. Cut this piece here. Like that. Hopefully you can see it. And uh, so you get this uh, dark red thing because I did use uh, Morton's Tender Quick when I cured it for about three days before we smoked it. It's real, real spicy, real, real flavorful, and it does a great job as a flavoring meat. It's not something you want to eat as a main course or your main protein. It's, and we're gonna just kind of dice it up small like that right there, okay? So, I'm gonna get everything else cut up and we'll be at the uh, cast iron pot making jambalaya. All right, I got the old Volrath Ware pot heating up right here. Sorry for reaching over like that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in some grease down at the bottom. Do you save your bacon grease? I hope so. We're using bacon grease. If not, use some pork lard. Heck, even beef tallow or whatever. Or you can use a vegetable oil. But I'm putting some bacon grease right down there in the bottom just like that and get that heated up. We're gonna dump the chicken in in just a moment. All right, now that the bacon grease is in there, we're gonna dump in our chicken. I cut it up and I uh, put on some Cajun Creole seasoning. And so this meat is seasoned too. We're gonna get it cooking. Now you can use your favorite brand or Cajun Creole seasoning or you can make your own like I do. By the way, did you know that Parmesan cheese lids fit uh, mason jars? Works out real well. So we're gonna get this chicken browned up. All right, my chicken is browned up. Now, if you're using pre-cooked chicken, which I usually do, something left over from the grill, uh, thrill the night before, some barbecue or grilled chicken, or even if you find like a rotisserie on sale at a, a grocery store late in the evening, they're trying to get rid of, take that, take the meat off of it, put it in the freezer, and you've got chicken for jambalaya. So if you got pre-cooked chicken, of course, you can skip this step. Get the chicken out of here, we're gonna put the sausage in. All right, chicken's out, sausage is in. We're gonna get the sausage browned up. Try to get them, you know, I like to kind of get them browned up on the bottom, each one facing down. Make sure they're all good and brown before we pull them out. All right, sausage is browned up. Look at that right there, see? That's what I'm talking about. Get those pieces brown like that. All right, and then we're gonna get this out of here, put the Trinity in. All right, it's time now to put the Trinity in. So let's get that all browned up. Now we want this going and cooking until these onions are brown. It's very important that the onions be well caramelized before we uh, start the next process. Then I added just a few dashes of smoked kosher salt just to help the onions sweat down and caramelize a bit. Okay, these onions are starting to get brown like I want them, but they're not as brown as they need to be yet. But it's time now to put in the garlic and the tasso. You don't want to put that garlic in with the other stuff because it'll burn. And we're going to start browning this tasso here with the onions and getting this tasso all mixed in here. But we got that tasso queued up, diced up, and it's going to make this jambalaya so good. You want a jambalaya with a smoky flavor to it. And one way to get the smoky flavor in is to use tasso. Of course, you could use a smoked chicken or something like that. But we got, I've got smoked salt in here. We're gonna use a smoked pork stock and we've got this delicious tasso. This jambalaya is gonna have layers, layers, layers of flavor. All right, onions are getting brown. Got that fine forming on the bottom and um, tasso's browned up. Garlic's got cooked to where it needs to be without burning. It's time to put in the smoked pork stock. I had it frozen so there's a, I defrosted it but there's still a few pieces of ice in there. And I probably should not put that cold pork stock in a hot pan, but oh well. Most of it's defrosted and we're gonna be all right. We're gonna bring this to a boil. But first we gotta dump back in 
our chicken and sausage. Just dump it all in there and all that. Now, while we wait on this concoction to come to boil, we're gonna put in some more Cajun Creole seasoning. I am not putting in as much as I would if I did not have the tasso. If I didn't have the tasso, I'd put more of this in there. But remember, we seasoned the chicken and that tasso is highly seasoned. So I'm just gonna add just a little bit of sprinkle here. We also already have smoked salt in it, so that should be plenty. Plus we're adding a few dashes of Tabasco, okay? Make sure you buy your Tabasco in 12 ounce bottles, not those little tiny five ounce bottles. You can go through those in a week. This will last about two. How much Tabasco you want or Crystal, whichever your favorite hot sauce is, and a few dashes of Worcestershire sauce. And that's it. We're gonna uh, put the rice in once this comes to a boil. All right, took a little longer to come to a boil because we still had that uh, pork stock a little bit frozen there in the middle. I thought the whole jars were defrosted, my bad. But it came to a boil and it looks good, it tastes good, and we had five cups of pork stock or a quart and a cup. So we got two and a half cups of rice. You want um, half as much rice as you do liquid or twice as much liquid as you do rice, however you want to call it. Stir this rice in here one time. When you cook non-parboiled rice, you want to stir it in one time. You want to be using a cast iron pot. Get it all mixed in, and then we're not going to stir it again. We're going to let this come back to a boil. All right, once I see it start boiling, we're going to put the lid on it. All right, it's come back to a boil. We put the lid on it. We set our timer for 30 minutes. Now, when it gets to 25 minutes, we simply turn the stove off. Just take it off the fire if you're cooking out with charcoal or something. But, um, and then let it just sit in the pot for the last 25 minutes. So let it boil for 30, I mean, let it boil for five, and then let it sit off the fire for 25, and your jambalaya will be ready. And the rice won't be sticky. If you stir that rice, it will be gummy. Okay, timer's got about 10 seconds, so we're gonna let it beat right over here. And then we're going to uh, open up this pot. And that jambalaya should have a tan brownish color to it. If it's white, I didn't do it well. And there it goes. Yep, it looks right. It looks right. Oh, look at that steam coming up there. I wish you could smell it. Woo! Scratch and sniff your screen. See if you can smell it. We got scratch and sniff YouTube yet? Oh, that's awesome. All right. Uh, I want to clarify. The way you cook rice... Cast iron pot so it holds the heat in there. Once that water comes back to a boil with the rice in there, don't stir it again. You can do this with jambalaya or you can do it with just plain rice or whatever rice dish you're doing, right? But once that uh, rice comes back to a boil, set your timer for 30 minutes. And then when the timer gets to 24 minutes and 59 seconds, I said 25 minutes earlier. What I mean is 24 minutes and 59 seconds. Don't do it at 25.59. When it gets to 24.59, then turn your thing off and let it go that last 25 minutes or so. And it's going to be just perfect. Look at that. Look at that right there. Oops, I'm dropping some on the stove, y'all. Y'all see that? Woo! Ha! Let's serve this up. All right, now, you want to serve jambalaya with either biscuits, buttered French bread as I'm doing tonight. You can toast the French bread if you'd like. All right? or cornbread but y'all that's gonna be a fine meal right there mm, can you see that steam coming over there Ooh, look at that look at that look at that Damn. smells delicious and it's got that smoky flavor you want jambalaya to have a smoky flavor you can get it in there by using a grilled meat a smoked pork stock smoked salt liquid smoke, I didn't have to add liquid smoke, and tasso. We're gonna have a lot of stuff in here because we just used the sausage and the chicken wasn't pre-cooked. So anyway, chicken and sausage jambalaya with tasso in it. All right, now the measurements for my Cajun Creole season, just kind of eyeballed it, years of experience with that. I would say start with maybe two teaspoons to a tablespoon and see where you are on the salt. If you use pre-cooked chicken, all that changes it. But the tasso is salty. The tasso is spicy. So I didn't have to add as much um, Tabasco or the Tony's type seasoning to um, 
that you know I make up. If you're, I've got a video on it. Probably already saw the e-card, i-card for that. This is still steaming. It's gonna be hot. I'm about to burn myself. I need to get some of that tasso um, and the chicken. You know what? Tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and get this. It's got chicken and sausage on it. And it's perfect. And just a wonderful tan brown color to it. Brown jambalaya, Cajun jambalaya. And that creole. All right, let me get some with the tasso in it. That's what the tasso. There's some. What? That was sausage piece. I think my son took all the tasso. There's some tasso right there. Right there at the end of my fork. Mmm. Tasso just makes everything better. Jambalaya, red beans and rice. A little bit in gumbo is good too. Um, greens, whatever. Mmm. Gosh, you gotta love tasso. Maybe I'll do a video on how to make tasso one day. If you want one, tell me. I don't usually ask for comments, but hey, tasso's good, y'all. All right, I gotta eat this. Thanks for watching Big Lou Barbecue Cajun Brown Jambalaya.